What's up guys? Today we're going to do a little bit of ammo testing through two rifles, one suppressed, one that's unsuppressed, and a pistol, which we're going to fire unsuppressed first and then suppressed. The ammo that we're going to be testing is various grain weights, different, different companies. Uh, the first two, and this is the same for all these guns that we're going to shoot today the first two are going to be 40 grain standard velocity cci the second is going to be a 38 grain standard velocity the other ones are going to be a 36 grain standard velocity the two after that are going to be agula subsonic and the two after that are going to be cci subsonic and we're going to try to test them and see how they sound through these rifles and the pistol. And we're going to do that for you now. So my buddy is going to load up the unsuppressed Ruger 1022. We're going to fire it down range. See how it sounds. We're not shooting any steel. We just want to simply hear the report of the rifle and at the shooter's ear. So the first two are going to be 40 grain standard velocity. Second two are going to be 38 grain hollow point standard velocity. Two after that are going to be 36 grain hollow point standard velocity as well. I can, I can tell right off the bat that the 36 and the 38 have a little bit more pop. All right, now these two are going to be subsonic. So the first two are going to be the Agula subsonic pretty quiet pretty quiet all right the second two are going to be the cci subsonic go ahead cci is definitely quieter i should say actually extremely surprised that's like very that. very surprised all right now we're going to do the same test but in a suppressed rifle and this is a good old steven 62 yep the other one was a Ruger 1022. More modern. <laughs> old school here. This thing's about as old as I am. All right, same, same ammo. That was 40 grain. That was 40 grain. That wasn't bad whatsoever. All right, now let's hop into the 38 grain. Definitely has more punch going down range, but it's not bad at the shooter's ear. That was a 36 grain that wasn't too bad. All right, now let's try the uh, Agula Subsonic. Fell the cycle. Really quiet. Yeah, fell cycle. All right, now CCI. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's quiet. Wow. That's like stupid quiet. All right, now I'm going to hand the phone over to Adam, and I'm going to take over for the pistols. So this one's a kel -Tec. kel -Tec P17. Awesome handgun. Not bad for the price of it. We picked this up for a very good price at our local gun shop. Uh, comes standard with... A threaded in muzzle that you can take off if you want to. I'm gonna load the magazine up now. One in the chamber. First two, 40 grain. All right, second two is 38 grain. Got a pretty good pop to mm -hmm. it. All right, next two, 36. Good. A little bit louder pop. A little bit louder. Probably moving faster. Yep. All right, now we're seven to the subsonics. All right, first two going to be Agula yep. subsonics. See how they sound. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad, but they did cycle. Yep. About the same as the 40s. Yeah, just about. So, all right. Uh, then the last two are going to be the CCI subsonics. See how they do. They've been quieter in the rifles. Let's see how they perform. 
Fail cycle. Fail to cycle, you charge it back. It ejected, but not picked up the other round. Stove pipe that one. Yep. So with the CCIs that we have noticed so far that you have to manually cycle them, but they are quiet. For, except for, for some reason in the 1022. Yes. I don't know if it's a different style spring they're running or what. Something. Okay, yeah, it yeah. If you want to. Hold up. All right, now we're gonna do the same ammo test in the P17 with a suppressor on it. Like I said, the first two are going to be 40 grain, standard velocity. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at Not all. Not bad at all. And I've noticed on the 40 grain, since it's a heavier bullet, when you fire it in a gun that's suppressed, it's not bad and even downrange so it's probably riding on the tail end of being subsonic yeah, coming so. out of the gun We've with just enough weight to cycle just enough weight to cycle it without buying a subsonic round yeah all right so now we're going to try the 38 grain in the suppressed handgun let's see how it does not bad not bad not bad it's a little bit more of a pop. pop on the ears yeah a little pop all right, now let's try the uh, 36 green. A little better. A little, little better, but still, it's pretty much the same. I still right. say the 40's quieter yeah, than that. Yeah, the 40's definitely quieter. All right, let's now let's, uh, let's do the Agula Subsonics, see how it runs. At least it's cycling. It's, it's pretty quiet, too. So that, I say... That's pretty quiet, and it cycled reliably. So. Let's see if we can get close to movie quiet on yeah. these last two. All right, now last two are going to be the CCI subsonics. Let's, let's see how they perform. Wow, it cycled. That cycled. Well, that's impressive. That's very impressive. That's quiet. That's like hush Guys, puppy. you probably can't tell through the video, but that's quiet yeah that's and I, I have ears in that's, that's pretty quiet. close to like hush puppy quiet that's very close that's very close all right guys well uh thank you for joining us on this little venture and ride through testing that we're doing but probably see you again in the next video